Hi, and welcome to another episode of Haltech Q&A. Today we're going to be answering questions directly off our Facebook page. Now, the first question we've got today is from Matt Dim, and he asks, what ECU would you recommend for a Holden Commodore VN or VP series? Now, Matt, the Holden Commodore or the General Motors range of, uh, of engines, the 3.8, used the really, really popular Delco series of ECU. So it was available for the six and eight cylinders. Uh, also supported a lot of American cars, uh, the Corvette, the Firebird, that sort of stuff. Um, it uses the two-plug ECU connector, and we actually make a system called the Platinum Sport GM, which plugs straight into your car, hit the key, it'll start and run, and then tune from there. Our next question comes from Marston Albrechts. How can I add an anti-lag switch? I have a Haltech Platinum Sport 1000 on my Subaru Impreza 99. So there's two different types of anti-lag. Uh, one of them is a launch style, the other one is a rally anti-lag. So a launch style anti-lag is typically used off a clutch switch, so that goes into an input on the ECU. When that clutch switch is pressed, it introduces a rev limiter, uh, it retards the ignition timing and adds a fuel enrichment. So that as you hold full throttle and you're on the clutch stationary, the engine will build boost, you sidestep the clutch, and you take off with full boost in the car. Uh, rally style anti-lag is, is a system where the throttle blade is actually always open. So you have a cyclic idle, which makes that really rough banging idle noise that all the rally cars make. Uh, this, this system's used so that as you're coming into a corner, you get off the throttle, uh, the car will actually bang and cough, um, and it'll actually hold boost as you're decelerating through a corner. Now, in any, in, in any case, you need to use an analog or a digital input wired into your ECU. We turn on either the launch or the rally anti-lag function, and then we just need to program how much fuel enrichment and how much ignition retard your turbocharger and engine combination needs in order to build anywhere from zero boost up to 10 pounds of boost on deceleration. And our last YouTube question today comes from Jesse P. He asks, which of your ECUs can control variable cam timing like VVTI uh, and Mitsubishi's MyVec system? So there's two different styles of variable cam control. Truly variable, meaning you actually have to program the cam angle that the, the camshaft is actually going to sit at, versus like a VTEC style system, which is an on-off switch, which changes to a different profile on the camshaft. Uh, for VTEC, all of our systems will control this on-off style switching. Uh, for fully variable cam control, we've got two different solutions, really. We've got our Platinum Sport Series ECU, which will control one or two inlet variable cam controls, whereas our Elite Series system will control two inlet cams and two exhaust camshaft full variable. Well, that's our questions for today. Don't forget, you can ask questions via Facebook, YouTube, uh, or off any of our email accounts. Look at the links below. We'll see you next time. Did you like what you just saw? Why don't you subscribe to the Haltech YouTube channel? It's just like subscribing to your favourite magazine or video, except it's free. And the best thing, you get to see me every single week.